M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So good news for ICOM IC9700 owners. They have brought out a new firmware version 1.40 and it comes along with programming software that is required. And you would also need the instruction manual because this is quite an update and we'll go to straight to that instruction manual. I will add all three of these links into the description. So here is the instruction manual. Now one essential thing that you will need is a file that you will be adding in to see this section here. It says repeater monitor sample. So I'm just going to quickly show you where that file is. We go to firmware update. We look across and we're going to find a file that is called, here it is here. You can download the connection IP address list sample file from here. I know they call it a sample file but it's the actual file you use. So when you click that you'll get a file. Let's just go here and it's called repeater list GPS data. After the firmware update, when you look at your SD card, you back up your 9700 as normal. And when you look inside your SD card, there will be a new file, which looks like this. And you're gonna need this later in the process. So I haven't actually got this radio. I've got the ICOM 705 and it was a very similar process. So here's your instruction manual, add the DV repeater monitor function. What it will add, is, if you look here on my ICOM 705, because I have not got the 9700, if I push play, when you push the multi knob on mine, you get a new selection out. See in the two section there, we've got two, the little money lighting up here. See the money? You turn that on and off, push the multi knob, and see at the bottom, it says monitor off. When you turn it on, the top section will effectively link to an IP IP address connected repeater. And it does work. And if you've got your hotspot in the B section, it will also receive that. So it's it's like dual band, but it's not dual band because you will only hear one at a time, but it will tell you when it's receiving. So it's quite a, quite a funky feature. Download the firmware data, insert the SD card, into your transceiver. Then go to the SD card display section, select the update firmware, and I'm gonna read this section here. Display the SD card screen in the menu. Touch firmware update on the SD card screen to open the firmware update screen. Touch to scroll to the end of the screen to read all the precautions after you read and agree with all the precautions. Touch yes. After backup, the file is made and the firmware selection screen is displayed. Touch firmware update data. Please carefully read all precautions. And when you want to execute it, touch yes for one second to start the firmware update. When the update is completed, firmware updated is displayed and the transceiver will automatically restart. If the setting data needs to be converted, it may take some time to restart. If the settings and memories have been reset, load the settings and memories that have been back up onto the SD card. Display the SD card screen in menu, touch load setting on the SD card screen to open the load setting screen, touch the file name of the file saved. So obviously back it up first, that's the bottom line, is before you do any of this back it up. You will need to connect a LAN cable on the left here to your broadband router at home so that you have an internet connection. You will need to get the repeater sample file that you now have and put it into your SD card and put that into your radio and load it in so that when you select this section, connection IP address list here and select repeater monitor sample, you will have all the list of repeaters. When you go into monitor mode, we scroll here, monitor mode, this left picture here, if you haven't got the repeaters, it won't know what to do. And so then the top section here, where it says two, as you turn on monitor mode by pushing your multi knob, and then this monitor mode turns to on, you get a small white window here appear. And when the, when the, inter, when the repeater is internet linked, it will say it's internet linked, otherwise it won't. Uh, so really the, the best thing, I haven't got the radio, I'm just showing you everything I can you're updating the firmware, you're loading the new file, and there are some GPS files as well, into this repeater money sample. Then you that effectively, because you've got the new firmware, the monitor is, is activated, and you've got your internet connection, and you can actually, you know, you can be linked, like I said earlier, 
to your hotspot listening to say reflector 30 charlie but at the same time you can have the top section monitoring not transmitting a repeater and then obviously when you decide to use one or the other you can then select select it in the normal way to transmit so it's a, it is a monitor mode but it, I, I think it's quite good and it's free and uh, and i can see the way that they're going and the, with the icom 905 i'm sure this will all play into it as well but thanks for watching my channel and catch you on air 73 all the best if you look here on my icom 705 because i have not got the 9700 if i push play when you push the multi nub on mine you get a new selection out. See in the two section there, we've got two, the little money lighting up here. See the money? You turn that on and off, push the multi knob, and see at the bottom it says monitor off. When you turn it on, the top section will effectively link to an IP, IP address connected repeater. And it does work. And if you've got your hotspot in the B section, it will also receive that. So it's it's like dual band, but it's not dual band because you will only hear one at a time, but it will tell you when it's receiving. So it's quite quite a funky feature.